stopping and playing right into VCU's hands because they can fly a double team and there's been some turnover there. Which way are they going? And now look That's out up. underneath the basket as both sides start to mix it up. Double technical fouls will be called on Marlo Talley of VCU and Vaughn Bryant of ECU. Now, it's got to be a lot of frustration on Bryant as he gets called for another charge. Now Talley getting the technical. Here we'll just see him when he gets it. There's a charge. No, oh, he leveled said. him. Now they're talking. Yeah. And then the push into the stands. Boy, Bryant really leveled Tally, and then the two went down in a heap. And Bryant Kersey trying to straighten it all out at the scorer's table. And I'm pretty sure I saw Larry Rose indicate double technicals to Tally and Bryant. And I guess it was an offensive foul, right, Kevin? That yeah. started the whole thing. Offensive foul, and then I think it is a correct call if it's a double technical. So that means Bryant now has four fouls, four personal fouls. And each team will get a chance to shoot two free throws. Let's see. He does get kind of pulled down by Tally when he, he charged. But then with a little help from Tally to pull him down, when Bryant took some offense to it, boy, gave him a good shove. From a mid-court angle. Watch the left hand of Tally. Right hand, pull him down. Yep. I think he was just trying to break his fall more than anything. So we'll get technicals at both ends. Tony Parham will shoot the two for East Carolina, then we'll go to the other end and shoot two for VCU. And Bryant will get a chance to cool his heels on the East Carolina bench. One out of two for Tony Parham, and now at the other end of the court, two free throws coming. For Virginia Commonwealth and Ivan Chapel will have the honors of shooting those. These are the toughest free throws to shoot as a player. I used to be about an 80% free throw shooter, but about 60% when nobody's on the line with me. You just feel like you're out there all by yourself. So the Rams gain another point out of that and VCU has gained all of the momentum and one of the ways they did that was the Ben Peabody steal on a bad cross-court pass and an exclamation point dunk at the other end yeah way too much air on that pass not enough mustard but this guy's got the mustard look at him he is a fun player to watch Ben Peabody the 6'4 senior out of Oklahoma City Young man who almost wasn't with this team. He quit midway through last season. Asked to come back, and the Rams accepted him. Lee for three. He's got seven. And it's a 15-point lead just like that for VCU. Well, you can see it's just not the Hopkins-Berg show. There's a lot of talent out here on VCU, and they can beat you in a lot.